Gothenburg High School. Wow! And my poem is entitled, New Addictions. She asks you how your day went, and you reply with one simple word. Good. A very vague word. Me, personally, I hate that word. It could be used to describe someone's state of mind, how your food tastes, or even how you dress. You come home from a long day at school, and what do you do? You throw your bags on the floor and turn on the TV. You let it run in the background while you're paying attention to your phone. Once you get that special text from that one person, your eyes light up like the TV screen lights up your face. Your mom comes home and says that she brought dinner for you, yet you're so glued to that screen that you don't even hear her. She tells you to wash your hands so you can eat, and you wait until she walks out of the room so you can unplug your phone and slip it in your pocket. You both get your plates of food and walk to your designated sides of the table. She tries to keep a conversation with you, but you don't know how to tell her that you've been staring at your phone for hours on end, waiting for that one special person to reply. Everyone has their addictions. Maybe it's a hobby turned into more. Like how your mom tells you she's good and that cleaning is just a hobby. But ever since your dad walked out, she doesn't know how to breathe and the only thing that calms her down is cleaning. Maybe someone's addiction is drugs or alcohol. Like how your dad tells you he's good, but he chugs it down one after the other. You ask your sister what's wrong. She tells you she's good. But what she doesn't tell you is that she binges on food in her room and heaves it up at night because she's afraid of gaining weight. She hides in her room because she's afraid of what people might say. Today's teens' new addictions are newer, bigger, brighter, and flashier things. Like how your best friend just got the new iPhone and how much you envy her. My new addiction just happens to be you. The way your hair falls perfectly, perfectly in your face and how you laugh at every corny joke I tell. I don't remember when I dropped my bad addictions. Like when the kids at school would call me I was fat, the old me would say I was good, but I was bottling up until my last resort was that blade leaving those scars all over my body. These scars are not new, I promise you. But with every new person to come along, they act like they are. They always ask me what happened, but I know they know. They just pretend to be oblivious. I'm not going to tell them my story on why I just say I'm good and I'm too scared to ask for help. I have just learned to love my scars, just like I love you.